Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if your Windows Media Player Library is corrupted error you are coming across on your Windows computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving this without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And what we're going to do first is we're going to look into the description of my video. I'm going to have a file path, and I want you guys to copy it directly from my description. And it's going to be percent sign local app data, and it's going to end with media player. Just copy it, and then go into the start menu and just search for it. It should take you directly to the folder here that we want to navigate to. So once you are here, you want to go select everything in here. And just right click, and then select delete. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. If you are still having an issue here after you've done that, another thing we can try, again, this is after you have already restarted your computer, would be to go back into the start menu, search up the next direction I'm going to have, or next directory I have, it's for just Microsoft here. So we're going to go ahead and just open that up. Locate the Media Player folder, right-click on it, and then select Delete. Once that is done, you want to close out of here, restart your computer, relaunch the Windows Media Player, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. A further thing we can go ahead and try here would be to open up the Start menu, type in Services, Best Match, Services, listed directly above App. Go ahead and left click on that. Now locate the Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service. Right here, double click on it to start if for some reason it's not started and you can also adjust it to automatic startup type that might not be necessary however but you might just want to start with the start option make sure it's running and then apply and OK again I wouldn't even come into services unless the first two options did not work for you and so hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem at that point so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial Goodbye.